Hello, John Rhodes here and welcome back. A big thank you to all of you that have subscribed to the channel. I do hope you're enjoying the content. I know I've been a bit quiet recently, but I can assure you there's some interesting stuff coming up in the near future. In this case presentation, we're looking at retrieval of a fractured instrument from a tooth that's been prepared for a ceramic crown. There's not a lot of tooth substance left, and so we're going to use a really conservative access and fine ultrasonic tips to retrieve the instrument. I hope you enjoy it. Retrieval of fractured instruments from the root canal is often carried out using a combination of ultrasonics to vibrate and loosen the fragment, followed by some type of retrieval device. You obviously have to make sure that there is an exit pathway so that the piece of instrument can be retrieved. When a large piece of instrument is fractured, it's often possible to retrieve the entire piece using ultrasonics alone, and that's what happened in this case. Here you can see the preoperative radiograph. There's no periopical periodontitis, but I assume the tooth became pulpitic after crown preparation. There's a fine file separated in the root canal. The tooth did not have a temporary in place. The case was referred without any attempt at retrieval of the file, and here you can see the small access cavity in the top of the crown preparation. After irrigating with 3% sodium hypochlorite, I'm going to use a modified Gates Glidden Burr size 2 to make a staging post down to the head of the piece of fractured instrument. Under high magnification you can see the piece of fractured instrument and I'm now going to use a fine ultrasonic tip to vibrate the lateral aspect of the file. In this case I'm using a Terauchi TFRK6 tip in a piezon ultrasonic unit set at about 6. The instrument is used dry however it's sometimes helpful to have a little bit of liquid at the base of the access. The following footage is unedited and so you're seeing virtually what I saw on the day that I did the case. I can now see that the tip of the instrument is loose and I'm going in one final time with my fine ultrasonic tip to vibrate the lateral aspect and satisfyingly the file rotates and flies out of the root canal. The entire piece of file could then be retrieved with forceps. I now continue with root canal preparation, disinfection and obturation using a single file technique. Here I'm using an electronic apex locator to confirm the working length, a single file in this case an edge endo small to prepare the root canal and then obturation with a vertically compacted gutta percha technique. The access cavity was filled with a dual cure composite. Mm -hmm. 
So to recap, here we have the preoptive radiograph showing the fractured instrument in the root canal, the tooth prepared for a crown and a small access. The final radiograph showing an excellent coronal apical seal with vertically compacted gutta perca and dual cure composite in the access. And finally a radiograph after cementation of a temporary that was constructed with acrylic. Well, I do hope you enjoyed that presentation. Stay tuned because I will be posting some more exciting cases. Whatever you do, enjoy your endo and I'll see you again on the channel next time.